What's up, YouTubers? Um, this is a video showing uh, our floor plan of what we're actually building, what you're watching us build, and some modifications uh, that we've made along the way. Yeah, we realize we haven't really shown everybody what we're actually building, and that's a big question we get. What's your layout? What's your style type? Um, all those sort of things. So Ryan's gonna walk you through the floor plans, and we'll show you what that looks like, and then I'll actually kind of map out some things for you right here on the concrete pad. All right, so I'm going to walk you through our floor plan right now. In a minute, Ryan's going to tell you about the modifications and things we're changing a little bit, some of the details. But right now I'm on our front porch, which will be covered. Um, right now we're using it for some storage for some big beams. But we will walk in. I'm trying to see my lines here. Obviously, we don't have all this framed yet. But this will be our, our entryway right in here. So we're walking into the front door. Over on this side, I'll do this side first. This will be more of a dining area. So we've got dining going into the master bedroom over here. And this is a big pipe you'll notice sticking up really high. Our girls always like to say this is gonna be a really big toilet, but it's, it's not. This is going to be actually a support beam that will go up into the second story. So we're also using it to have plumbing that will be able to go up into the bathroom that will be in the bonus room upstairs. So this will be our access for that. That's why it's so much bigger than the others and it's kind of in the middle of everything. So this will be a beam kind of separating our dining room um, from our entryway and we'll walk on over. So right off this dining area, uh, we'll walk into the master bedroom. This is my master bedroom window. I like to take photos out of and dream from. You can see where Ryan's already started framing and he's laying out some things. So this is all master bedroom going into the master bath. Ryan will tell you about a few changes we made there. And of course, we did the most important room in the house first over here, you'll see, which is going to be the master, I guess, do you call it a toilet room? I don't know, but it's over here. Off the master bath, we're going to have the master closet, which is a feature I really like here is that it is going to connect into the utility room, which means you're right in here into your laundry room. We've got our laundry hookup. Okay, so we've got our laundry hookup over here. Um, we're doing our utility box over here, and then it leads out into the kitchen. It's a difficult one. Went over there and like they're talking. Hey, babe. Just take a walk on the wild side. Okay, so right now I'm back at that entryway. Dining room's over here. We already talked about the master. Uh, so we've got this support beam slash uh, toilet beam, I guess. And we're gonna have, I guess what you'd call open concept, very popular. So you will literally walk right into the living room. That's why we have these right here. You'll see these, these are electrical conduits coming out of the floor. And this was so that we could have floor outlets in the middle because this is a big room. There aren't big walls close by, couches, lamp stands, things like that. So that way we'll have some electrical. Thankfully, Ryan had foresight to take care of that. Over here is gonna be my kitchen. Uh, so this is Kitchen Island. And he'll talk about how we plumbed it for sink dishwasher, electrical, so I'll have my kitchen island, kitchen counter, refrigerator, stovetop, all that kind of stuff will be over here, and then a pantry here by this back door. So there will be two back doors leading onto the porch over here, one here, one here. So that's going to be the main big living area, family area. So when you do come through that entryway, we've talked about the right and the center on the left side is going to be an important living space because it's really what we're talking about finishing first because it's got all the essentials and it's a little bit smaller so it's going to be a pretty classic guest bathroom in the middle small bedroom small bedroom on each side so our plan is to not you know worry and sweat about finishing up the master bedroom and bath but to get this all kind of completed so that we can move into that while we finish up just the touch-ups in the kitchen or whatever it is. That's the plan at this point. All right, so we um, purchased this plan offline. We originally, we originally were not gonna spend a thousand dollars and buy plans. We were looking to kind of go the cheap route, but quickly we realized we needed um, some official uh, blueprints, plans. Uh, so we, we bit the bullet and uh, selected a few plans and narrowed it down to one that we fell in love with. Um, of course, we made modifications just like with anything out there, just some things that would kind of uh, fit for us a little bit better and even for some other people. Um, so I'm going to go through this as fast as I can. Um, 
to maybe help you guys out. So first thing is the porch has changed a little bit. So we're not building the garage over here. Um, and so we squared off the back porch. Um, second thing, the master bath. Uh, this floor plan was made for to be handicap accessible throughout the, the whole master side and kitchen, all those things. So we're kind of ignoring that a little bit, shrinking some doors. Um, you know, the toilet area right here was supposed to be pretty big. We, we shrunk that down quite a bit. Um, I think that's about it we did for the master. Um, we also are going to change some things in the guest bath. Uh, currently, it's pretty small, and it's got um, a door coming into it from bedroom two, bedroom three, and from the hallway and it's got a closet inside it. So that's four doors swinging into this bathroom. So we're gonna knock off the, um, the doors leading to the bedrooms so you'll have access through the hallway and there'll still be a linen closet in there. Again, to try to buy back some floor space. Um, the next thing we changed was uh, the plans are calling for some columns in the kitchen to hold a big metal uh, eye beam in place for the the floor joist above it. So what we're actually going to do is beef up the floor floor joist so they can span more of a distance so we don't have to have these columns um, in the kitchen and we can kind of just get rid of this I-beam altogether um, again because we'll have some really beefy floor eye joist um, running these spans to support that load. The kitchen, um, talking with Elena, just what she wanted. Uh, originally it had the cooktop on the island so kind of when you're behind the island there looking into the living space, you're over the cooktop, which didn't make a whole lot of sense. She wanted the sink and dishwasher on the island, so if you're uh, you know, cleaning up, washing hands or whatever, you can have that interaction with whoever's in the living room. So we plumbed um, a drain and electricity uh, conduit right there to the island and plans for a sink uh, and dishwasher electric hookup. Killed the sink and the utility. Uh, we again, we kind of thought about that, and we'd rather have the counter space to fold or, or whatnot. We're holding off on the pergola. I do like the pergola, but we're just going to hold off for now at a later date to, to add that in. And same thing for the garage. Maybe we'll add the garage at some time at another location. All right. So till next time, you'll be seeing probably a follow-up shed video soon, and uh, yeah, some stuff about us starting to frame. So in cooler temps, hopefully. Yes, right? hopefully. Fall yes. is coming. All right. Thanks, guys. See you guys.